Namaste, everyone. This is your girl, Shalom Ashe Gaya. This tarot card reading is being sponsored by Divine Chakras, LLC. And I'm here bringing you guys your reading from our show, Goddess of the Nile, which runs on Sundays, every Sunday, okay, <laughs> from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am so, so honored and so happy to be um, a part of the show. And taking it a step further, um, I'm really happy to be able to bring you um, the reading that I went over for you guys um, during my segment on the show. So in case you missed the reading, I am here to talk about these two cards here. Um, if you don't know, um, I'm actually a really big spiritualist. Um, I've been reading tarot cards for thousands of years according to my higher self um, and according to my spirit guides. I've been doing this for decades, for centuries, forever. So um, I felt that I would, you know, contribute my energy and my spiritual expertise um, to the show, which is a big integral part of my life. And tarot is so very important to me. I'm very, very passionate about tarot readings, um, so much so that I took a... Um, advanced course to receive my certification because we know, you know, the real world, the matrix loves paper. So I figure why not put my abilities on paper? But of course, you know, I am certified by the universe. Okay. So I don't need anybody to tell me what spirit tells me. <laughs> so with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So when I actually pulled the cards, um, originally I did shuffle. So if you have not, uh, viewed the video, please, please review the video. Um, it is available here on Patreon, um, on our Patreon account. So you are able to see, um, you know, me shuffling the cards so that you all know that it is legit. So the deck of cards is here. All I did was just pull out the cards that I pulled. Again, it was the nine of cups first, coupled with the four of wands. So let's talk about this amazing, amazing confident, um, energetic, successful business um, energy that we're looking at this week. So let's take a look at the Nine of Cups first. And the Cups here is all about emotions. Cups is all about like fluid manifestations, about emotions, about romanticism. It is about creativity. It is about just really, really, really... Um, showing your confidence and showing your contentment, your happiness. Specifically with the nine of cups, you see that this man is literally sitting um, in front of his cups and he's like, yeah, and what you gonna do about it? Like, that's literally what the energy is this week, okay? Sorry, you guys, I dropped one of the cards, but the energy this week is all about seeing your future and actually putting it into fruition and going after your goals and going after everything that you ever wanted to do okay that is what the energy of this week is all right it's about pure and ultimate satisfaction about pure happiness contentment like complete and utter just like fulfillment of what you're trying to do this is literally the step right before the ten of cups and the ten of cups is like a family jumping around in a rainbow and that is just like you have you literally you have passed okay you have defeated the enemy like literally finish him like on um street fighters or what is it you, you know that video game when it's like finish him like literally that is what this energy is all about it's literally saying you know forget everything negative that I could have ever thought about that could have ever happened to me. I am literally a powerful figure right now and I am literally manifesting everything that I wanted. That is what the energy is this week, all right? And if you know anything about um, astrology, you know anything about studying the cosmos, okay, cosmology, then you will know that this week, um, yesterday, we are actually in the energy right now. We are still harnessing the new moon in Aries energy. And new moon in Aries, Aries is a fire sign. And Aries is just all about getting shit done. Literally, when an Aries says that they are going to do something, they get it done and they get it done with the utmost like just downright like nitty gritty 
powerful energy. Like they are just so into themselves. They completely like manifest everything that they say that they're going to manifest. And that is what the energy is this week. It's literally about new beginnings and creating a new cycle of life. Okay. Creating new movement. Aries. Okay. This is an Aries card. Fire. Wands is all about fire. It's all about movement. It's all about creating. It's all about happiness. It's all about like victory. It is all about I am here. I have arrived. Everything that I finally could have ever wanted is now coming in to 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 work. It's coming into happening. Like literally, this is about complete happiness. It's about um again, new beginnings, um, you know, receiving um, abundance, receiving prosperity, but also receiving good news. Like, um, just like I said, you know, on the show, I believe that there's going to be a lot of people this week that are, excuse me, you guys, sorry, my battery is dying here. But um, there's going to be people this week that are going to be receiving um great news. They're going to be receiving, um, you know, maybe even a contract or some type of business proposal that is going to be on the up and up that is going to be like literally putting everything into, um, into past, like everything that you could have ever like been working for, been wanting that slow climb to the top. Okay. Just like myself, the Capricorn, like literally that slow climb to the top that finally, like finally I've made it like finally it's here. Like that is what the energy is this week. Now on the flip side, you know, we tend to almost kind of doubt ourselves and kind of be fearful and say, you know, okay, all the success, like when is it going to end? Like it's not going to end. You literally need to ride this wave. This is a wave that's going to be up and you're going to be right, be able to ride it. Okay. And we're looking at, you know, the next three to six to even, um, 12 months. Okay. Um, and again, it just, it just depends on, of course, your sign. Um, and that is why, you know, I would recommend getting a personal reading with me so that you can actually see for your particular sign, um, you know, what, what is going to happen for you? What is, what is going to be happening within your cosmic, um, within your cosmic movements. But, um, I know, you know, specifically for Capricorns, like Saturn is in our sign right now. Saturn is back home. And even though Saturn is going to be retrograding, Saturn is home. So we are really able to harness that energy, that Capricorn, go get it, like climb to the top, um, you know, just all ultimate success, ultimate, like ultimate receiving, ultimate abundancy, ultimate power. Like that is what the Capricorn energy is all about. It is all about that grounding. It's all about that solidity. Like just saying this shit is mine and can't nobody take it away from me. Like that is exactly what the energy is going to be this week. So if you are looking into creating a new business, um, if you're looking into like signing contracts. Mercury's out of retrograde right now. So business is, is a go. Like business is a go this week. Like anything that you are trying to get done, this is the week to do it. Okay. If you're looking to start um, a new project, if you are looking to close on a house, um, if you're looking to get a new car, like this is the week to do it. This is the week to feel victorious. This is the week to get the deals. This is the week, um, you know, for people to give you, you know, a, a little freebie or something, you know, like if you're looking, I don't know, to again, like sign contracts, like this is the week to do it. If you are looking um, to like get things done that have been stagnant for a long time, this is the week to do it. If you are looking to create something that is new and you've been thinking about it, but you haven't quite put it into like manifestation yet, this is the week to do it. Like, like, I don't know what y'all waiting on, but spring equinox is here. And I really feel like the new year started this week with this new moon. Like, I really feel like new moon has created the new year. Okay. This is the first new moon of the spring equinox. So this is to me, this is the energy that we need in order to start moving. So this is the week of movements. Okay. Positive, positive cards. They're both upright, which means that the energy is a go. Um, you know, there's just, oh, there's just so many people that have such bright futures ahead of you guys. Really, really get down and work with that solar plexus energy. Work with your pyrites, okay? Um, get your pyrites and work with them, all right? Get your fool's gold, get your pyrite and work with that. Work with your green stones this week. 
um, you know, work with your fluorites, work with your aventrines, work with your moldavite if you own a piece of moldavite. Um, I have my moldavite here. Work with your moldavite. Very, very powerful, high vibrational stone. You see it's green. Green is all about the heart chakra, which is all about abundancy and prosperity. Work with the solar plexus energy, which is all about creating um, ideas, creating business, and going with your gut feeling. So even citrine, if you don't own... Um, if you don't own any uh, pyrite, then work with citrine. That is a great stone to work with. Fluorite is also great. Green aventrine is a great stone to work with, if I, if I didn't already say that. Um, fuchsite is great as well. Uh, serpentine is a great stone to work with as well. I'm giving you green stones, green and yellow stones. That is the energy that we are harnessing right now. And even a little bit of speaking, speaking in your truth, um, harnessing the energies of your throat chakra so that you are able to go in, you know, with, with that business, um, with that business sensibility, then definitely, um, you know, work with your sodalite, work with your lapis lazuli, work with your blue kyanites, that are, even your labrador lights. Those are going to be great stones for you to channel, um, energy from higher dimensions in order to really put things out on paper um, because you know we still have to deal with the real world so don't think that everything is spiritual that you know even though we are guided by divine love and light and we are guided by our ancestors you know and our divine parents or whoever you are guided by um, you know we still have to deal with the real world aspect of things so I just wanted to throw that out there but definitely this is this is go week Okay, go, 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 go. Um, I would definitely say to amp up your offerings this week um, to your deities or to your ancestors. If you do altar work, then um, amp up your your um, your spiritual work at your altars. Um, burn your ancestor money. I would definitely amp up your offerings. So maybe offering um, like wine and liquor if you if you haven't done that yet already um get some bomb ass like liquor some expensive liquor drop a few coins because it's gonna come back to you a thousand and one tenfold okay a thousand and one plus tenfold okay that is how much you are about to get back in abundance all right i would definitely say to um donate to some someone or something this week so that means a charity or if you see a homeless person on the street Donate, be generous this year, and also show gratitude to the universe. Um, you know, go outside and pay your respects to the universe. Maybe go outside and meditate. I know it's going to be a little bit warmer this week. So go outside and meditate. Sit out on the ground. Just talk to Mother Nature and show your gratitude um, to her, okay? That is really it, you guys. Um, I just wanted to come to you all and give you a complete reading of the two cards and this is something that I will be doing it's going to be kind of like an after the after show reading where I give you more in-depth um, pointers tell you crystals to work with that are going to help you get through this time um, and of course you know always if you are looking to get a personal in-depth reading with me please hit me up at divine chakras 777 at gmail.com or you can always hit me up on YouTube or if you would like to see my work on YouTube my YouTube name is divine chakras that's D I I V I N E space C H A K R A S. All right. And of course, you can also find me on Instagram at Divine Chakras as well. And that is it, you guys. I love you all so much. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, for those that have been supporting us through Patreon, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate you all so much. Again, I'm so happy to be um, a part of your lives through the Goddess of the Now show. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Peace.